Again, there's um, you know the root problems, isolated roots, square both sides, manipulate it. We're hoping when all the dust settles, you get something like this over here. Quadratic formula, set the A to be 11, B to be minus six, C to be minus 81. Again, you're allowed to use a computer or a calculator to do that, and you should be getting these things over here, which I'll be honest with you, is a good indication that this thing is factorable, all right? And what I mean by that, 11x squared, the only way I could write that down, use my fingers, would be 11x and x. 81 is a little more interesting, and I'm gonna say 27 and three. And give me a second. Uh, I gotta see if I got that. 27 times three is 81, that worked beautifully. 11x times x, 11x squared. 33, yep, I can put the minus sign here, a plus sign here. Let me just check it. You do get 11x squared. <coughs> you do get minus 81 in the end. The internal term, just to check it, you get minus 33 and 27, and that would give you minus six. Works beautifully. So what do you get over here by factoring? X equals minus 27 elevenths, or X is equal to three. All right, thank you.